Hello, my name is Veer Animus of VA Games, and this is part 10 of my Sonic 3 and Knuckles Let's Play. As you can see, we are, um, we're in the Lava Reef Zone, and uh, it's been a bit of time, and I apologize for that. Um, I had some issues with uh, performance anxiety, um, so I, I kind of I tried to make the video, and I really I kept failing at it, so I kind of gave up for a little while. Um, and I keep trying every once in a while, but I, I really am not very good at commentary, so I apologize for those of you who have put up with it so far. But uh, I wasn't really liking any of the commentary that I was doing. I had a problem coming up with another 10 minute, you know, kinda, I guess you could call it a speech for the duration of this video, so I kind of put it on hold for a few months. Uh, but here it is, I'm trying again, and I hope it comes out alright. Um, as far as the video is concerned, I had this video before I even posted the Sandopolis video. Um, so the, the, the gameplay was done a long time ago. It was just a matter of, you know, getting up the nerve and the confidence to, uh, to provide the commentary. So, um, again, I thank you for your patience. I hope this turns out alright. Um, if it doesn't, you know, I guess whatever. But, uh, anyway... This is the Lava Reef Zone, and uh, I know I've talked about it in uh, previous videos, or at least mentioned it. Uh, this is a really cool level. Um, I know it's a little bit hard to hear now, but uh, the music is fantastic. And uh, I really enjoyed everything about this level. The, the, from a mechanical point of view, like a, a developer's point of view, the platforming in this level was, was done really well. And uh, you can really get a good flow going here, and... Uh, it feels really good. It's very satisfying when you try to get through this level, um, you know, very quickly and, and efficiently. And uh, I really enjoyed it for that. Um, another thing that I really like about this level is the fire. Uh, there's fire everywhere. As you can see, I just kind of rolled over an entire lake of it. And uh, the fire shield, which is, as I, I think I said in the first video, um, the fire shield and the magnet shield are my two favorites. Um, but the fire shield is probably always going to be my favorite one because I'm a big pyro. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, the fire shield is really important because, as you can see, uh, fire can't hurt you. And, at least for Act 1, that is really important. And it will make your life a lot easier. Um, as far as this mini-boss is concerned, those little mechanical tendrils will fire these little bullets at you, and as you can see, they'll bounce off of you. Um, so having a shield is great, but, as you can see right here, I don't do very well with keeping shields, because for whatever reason, as good as I may do or may not do in the, in the actual level, when it comes to the bosses, for whatever reason, in this, in this particular playthrough, I, I fell apart. I, I choked, like the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, sorry to any Eagles fans out there, um, you know, all three of you, but, you know, I, I choke, and for whatever reason, I don't do very well on um, bosses. But uh, this is the last bit of hitting here, and I decided to just kind of pour salt on the wound, I guess, and use hypersonic to land it. But uh, that's the end of Act 1, and uh, we'll be going in Act 2, and you, you're going to notice a bit of a transition, so uh, just take a look. And we're back in Act 2. Um, it's very hard not to notice the differences um, between the two acts in this game, in this level. Um, it's pretty dramatic. I think it's probably the most dramatic um, transition in uh, between acts in the entire game. Um, you know, it doesn't really look like we're inside a uh, an active volcano anymore. It's a nice crystal cave. Uh, the music changed uh, completely. Um, actually, if you remember back to uh, Part 7 of my walkthrough where we were in the Mushroom Kingdom, or, wow, Mario flashback. Um, no, where we were in the Mushroom Hill Zone, when we went after the Super Emeralds, the, uh, the shrine where the Master Emerald and the Seven Super Emeralds were being kept was uh, played to this music, and um, there is a very particular reason for that. That's not, um, it's not just some coincidence, it's not laziness on the part of the de developers, um, I suppose you could even go as far to call it foreshadowing, but uh, it is um, not a coincidence, and we'll discuss a little bit more of that when we get there. Um, for now, I do want to um, warn you guys, if you hadn't noticed already, um, but I don't do very well here. Um, like I said at the beginning of, of this uh, video, 
I don't like Act 2. Um, I never did. I never did well in it. It's, um, it's punishing. It is brutal. This chapter it is just like, I keep saying chapter. I'm sorry. This is, uh, I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem, but, uh, this is a very unforgiving, uh, act and, um, very much like the Sandopolis zone and the launch base zone actually is probably a good example to compare it to. Um, everything about this, this act, unless you know it very well, um, it's very, very unforgiving, and you have to be very careful, you can't go through this too quickly, and, uh, I am terrible with that, so I kind of barrel through it, and you can see all the damage I'm taking. Um, these stupid, asinine, you know, rotors, um, sometimes they kind of work, sometimes they really don't. I guess I just suck at the timing, I'm not really sure, but, um... I, when I was a kid, I used to have a lot of trouble with those, um, but uh, eh, not too big of a deal. I mean, you, you learn to pick it up pretty quick. Um, anyway, this level, like I said, it's, it's very difficult. Um, it's very unforgiving. Uh, the atmosphere is different, and um, that becomes pretty important because, like I said, uh, this is the act where things start to really pick up in the story, and um, kids are screaming outside right now, so I'm having a little bit of difficulty concentrating because I'm, I, I can't multitask, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, things start to get pretty interesting in this, in this act. Uh, the story starts to, um, to play a big part of um, the level, and uh, we'll discuss that as well. Um, what is important about this level is that if you remember back to the launch base zone, uh, when Robotnik was trying to launch the Death Egg slash Death Star into uh, into orbit, the uh, Sonic, you know, stopped it, interrupted the launch, and it crashed back down to uh, the planet, which I'm assuming is still Mobius. And uh, where it landed was here, and you're about to see that. You can see the Death Egg is um, lodged in the uh, ceiling of this very large gaping opening in the wherever we are in the volcano um, Knuckles actually nearly kills Sonic here which is pretty cool um, and this is the beginning of the most interesting boss fight or one of the most interesting boss fights in the game um, the death egg is clearly not dormant at this point um, you're being assaulted with these uh, missiles and you have to um, survive with a kind of sort of tricky platforming sequence here. It's very short, um, and at the end of it you're going to see a little uh, star pole or star post, so if you die you come right back here. Um, this part is uh, very interesting as well. Um, just hop along uh, it's like four of these little platforms and then jump down to the right and you'll get this uh, magnet shield, a bunch of coins, and then finally the fire shield. If you... Um, this boss is either extremely easy or um, very hard. If you have the fire shield, as you can see, you can just walk on the lava. This guy is pathetic. If you don't have the fire shield, um, jumping at these platforms like I'm trying to demonstrate here can be pretty tricky, um, you know, depending on how well you're, you're, you know, how precise you are with your jumping. Um, as you can see though, there is no way, even with, even if I broke out hypersonic, there is no way for you to damage Robotnik directly. Um, this is one of the self-damaging bosses, and uh, he will launch these, uh, you know, spiked balls into the air um, to try to get in the way of the platforms that you're trying to land on, and that's how you do damage to him. Um, it's very, it is, it's very easy um, when you have this fire shield, so um, it looks a lot easier than it really is, but if you don't have the fire shield, it does get to be extremely tricky. Uh, tricky, I'm sorry. Uh, it gets very tricky. Um, uh, it only takes a few hits to kill him. I, I kind of lost count, I'm sorry. But uh, it's almost over. It's a lot of fun, though. I really like fighting this guy. Um, I think it's a very an interesting take on a boss fight. So this is coming to an end. Uh, just let me know in the comments what is your favorite fight. And uh, I'll see you next time. Guess where we're going.